Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. In today's video, I really wanted to do a quick and easy eye look using one of these new Ilia liquid powder chromatic eye tints. I've been loving these two shades right here. This more bronzy color and the shade Sheen has been in my everyday makeup bag. I've been wearing it like crazy ever since I received these and I'm really excited to show you how I use them. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. I'm getting slight Dwight Schrute vibes from today. I don't know why, like there's nothing really, but I, d I just get those vibes. <laughs> but anyways, to start, I'm going to start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade three, and I'm going to apply that to the high points of my face. Nothing new to see here. I just love this stuff so much. I feel like I can't do my makeup without it. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my Quo cool Beauty Liquid Foundation in the shade Beige N4. And I haven't used this in a moment, so I'm excited to revisit it. And I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty foundation brush to apply. I kind of forgot about this one just because it looks so much like the Glossier Skin Tint. So in my drawer, I just always kind of glossed over it. I'm so happy about my skin right now. I just have flat acne scars going on right here, so it's so easy to cover them up. For a while there, I was getting really discouraged by waking up every day with a couple of new, really painful breakouts. It was so rude. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> a little bit of that foundation goes a long way. I kind of forgot about that, but I'm just gonna take my sponge, press it all in, kind of pick up any excess, and ultimately make it look super skin-like. Just to brighten it up on the inner portion here, I'm going to take a little bit of my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I like to just use it with a sponge. I'll take a tiny bit of that and I'll mostly focus it in here, even though it was a little too much. The smallest amount goes such a long way. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in the shade 2.4. Oh, this might not be my shade anymore. That is not it under my eyes today. I'm going to take some of this Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Fair because that is like pure mustard under my eye. I keep forgetting that I have my winter skin now, so no more of my summer faves. <laughs> oh, that is legitimately pure Dijon mustard under my eyeball. Not the best, not the best, not the best. Oh no, my under eyes are going to be a little bit more full coverage than I was going for but you know everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days okay so for my under eye powder of course I'm going to be using my fave Pat McGrath blurring under eye powder I don't know why I've been loving this one so much recently maybe it's because I haven't been needing much powder around my face just under my eyes to quit the creasing so I don't know it's just such a bomb powder I remember in that moment, I was thinking of getting bobby pins and fixing my hair, but I got too lazy to get up. But that's all I'm wishing for right now while I'm editing, is that I wish I pinned back those two stupid pieces of hair. They're bugging me so bad, you guys. I think I got a little bit of my lip balm and my foundation around my mouth, because it's not looking really cute around- Oh my god! I have a beard! <laughs> I have a huge black whisker right on my chin. Hold on, I need to shave that real quick. I don't like getting older. Anyways, now it's time to move on to bronzer. And I'm going to be using my Nabla Skin Bronzing Sunkissed Effect Bronzing Powder in the shade Dune, I think. I don't know, maybe I should grab the lighter one because my skin is a little bit pale. I'm going to start off with this and if I need more definition, I'm going to go back into Dune. This is the lightest shade in Ambra. So I'm just going to use my Sephora Precision foundation brush. Oh yeah, I think this is a good decision that is showing up. Moving on to highlighter now, and I don't know if I want to do this color blush yet. I think I might skip blush till the end to see what I'm feeling, but I'm going to be using this highlighter from this Kosas Tropic Equinox Duo, and I'm using my Moda Pro Glow Brush. This kind of got lost in my makeup collection, and I've been using it so much recently. It gives such a beautiful glow. I love it so much. 
I'm really excited. Tonight I'm finally going to sit down and watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. I'm really, really excited. I've been waiting for my mom so we could sit down and watch it together. I don't know if it's gonna beat Haunting of Hill House because Haunting of Hill House is probably one of my top favorite shows ever. You get so connected to the characters, it's not even about the spooks. <laughs> it's just so good. And I don't know if it's gonna beat it, but I'm excited nonetheless. I think I've watched Haunting of Hill House four times through. It's so good. So now I'm going to quickly jump off camera. I'm gonna prime my lids with the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer, and I'm also going to fill in my brows with the M Cosmetics Brow Cream in the shade Ebony. So I will be right back, so please enjoy the brow intermission. Welcome back. So I'm really excited to show you how I use these. They're very easy to work with and they also have a really long lasting effect. I've been super excited about these. I think they came out with eight shades, I believe. I only have four and these are the two that I've been using the most, Sheen and Hatch. So I'm gonna be using Hatch today for this cool toned look. And I like to apply it straight with the wand first and I always apply an opaque layer right on my mobile lid. And we're done. Told you it was quick. Now I take a little blending brush. This is a Smith 232 and I just start buffing out the edges. Some days I dress these up with like other crease colors or to add depth or some days I just leave them alone because they're that cute. And I've been really into the all over shimmery eyelid situation lately. I don't know what it is. It gives like an effortless glamour effect that I just I love and I can't get enough of right now. So they do dry down eventually. So there we go. And I might dress this look up just a little bit. And I'm gonna take the wand again and I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes. And this is an interesting shade because it's not like a pure concrete gray. It has a little bit of a mossy green running through it which I really like. It's quite unique. And I think that's why it's been standing out in my collection so well. These also make for really fun eye bases. I did film a video using the more bronzy one. I filmed like a date night get ready with me or like how I get ready for a date. And I filmed like my outfit and my hair and everything. And the footage got all screwed up and I was very, very disappointed. <laughs> But maybe I'll have to refilm that once again sometime. So there we go. That's how I usually apply them if I just want a more effortless look. But I think I want to dress it up a little bit. And I pulled out my single eyeshadow palette. Remember the good old days when everyone was obsessed with single eyeshadows? I kind of wish that was back. I felt like I was able to be so much more creative then somehow instead of being constricted to palettes that brands create. I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll have to bring out my single shadows a lot more. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Stone eyeshadow and I'm going to pop that in my crease as my transition shade. This isn't gonna do much because it's pretty much the matte version of the Ilia one. It just softens it, looks really nice. This used to be one of my favorite single eyeshadows too. And then for the center of my eye, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Metal. I'm just gonna pop that in the center of the lid. And I just quickly dampened this smudger brush from Royal Lang Nickel, and I'm just going to hit that right in the center, right near my lashes for an extra pop. And I'm also gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. The outer portion looks kind of lost, so I'm going to add a little tiny wing using the shade Deep Brown from Anastasia with this Royal and Langnickel Balm 487 brush. I'm just gonna try to get some more detail with this brush. This is a Nabla liner and brows brush. That other one that I was just using kind of disobeyed me. I'm just gonna quickly catch this eye up to speed and I will be right back. So here are the eyes all finished. I absolutely love how they turned out. I love how there's like a greenish vibe going through it. It's very different and unique for a cool toned eye look, I find. Love, love, love. Tell me what you guys think. But now I'm going to move on to my blush and my lips. 
So since there is that kind of greenish tone running through it, I think that this Tropic Equinox blush in here would be perfect since it has some peachy tones running through it. So I think it will complement it very nicely. So I'm just going to take my Smith 115 brush to blend this Tropic Equinox blush all over. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's cute. And it also warms up the complexion nicely so we don't look too flat. Cute. Okay, so for the lips, I have absolutely no idea what I want to do. <laughs> I was just looking in my lipstick drawer and this one caught my eye. It's the Tower 28 Gloss in the shade Oat. I think this will complement the blush nicely and kind of tie everything in. And, ooh, I just dropped it. Such a klutz. But I'm going to first line my lips with the M Cosmetics Fawn Lip Liner. And now I'm going to apply this color. Hopefully it looks cute. That is the perfect thing for this look. I love it. So I'm finally going to unleash my hair. So here is the final look. What do we think? I really love it. I love how everything just ties in so beautifully. I love the texture on the cheeks, how glossy it looks. And I love a little bit more shimmer on the eyes than usual. I think it's it's a fun switch in texture. I'm excited to go take some pictures now. <laughs> but that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.